Hi, my name is Dr. Sridhar Panat. I am a PhD from MIT and also one of the three co-founders of Visuara AI Labs. I am just recording this video as a raw, uncut recording, so I will not be making any edits. I just want my original thoughts to come out just like that directly in this video. Basically here, I just want to announce the release of a new series. I would not like to call this as a course because I don't have a, you know, fixed number of lectures or anything like that planned. But rather, as part of this series, I would like to start a habit. And this habit is that of reading research papers. So during my PhD, I have read a huge number of research papers from the first page till the last page of supplementary. And it was a great habit, which I really loud not because you know not because it gave me a lot of new ideas for how to conduct my own experiments but also it it made me feel like i'm operating at the you know boundary of knowledge when i read the most recent papers and when i read the papers that this paper was citing i could see the tree of knowledge of humanity growing and and i felt like the best way to understand this history of growth of knowledge of humanity was to um, track, read and understand papers. And when we started Vishwara, while you run a startup, you do a lot of other things. And I must say that my paper reading habit took a backseat. And I always felt this itching that, no, I have to read more papers just so that I can feel like I'm, I'm on the top of things, right? So... There are two fold purposes for me making this series. One is to find like minded people who are interested in learning papers at depth. If you struggle with the reading habit or if you struggle with reading and comprehend, comprehending research papers, I really want to create a process through this series where all of us, including me, become better at reading papers that are, let's say, tough to understand. I'm not expecting too many views or um, too many people to follow this series at all. It's not at all my intention. My intention is just a purely selfish, selfish intention that I, I really want to become better at, at, at reading and understanding papers and that process itself I can document. So in the past several weeks, I have been reading a lot of papers. My process has been very simple. So I will print out a paper. I will go through it line by line. And whatever I do not understand, I will try to refer to some of the papers that this paper has cited. I will ask ChatGPT, I will look at Google or I look at any other resources. And this way I've been reading papers end to end, mostly AI ML papers in vision and language. And this has given me so much, I would say, so much happiness. It's It's been tough. It's been tough to read papers, but now I feel like I'm at a place where I again became as comfortable at reading papers as I was while doing my PhD. So this series is all about how to read papers. And I will not be converting the paper, the PDF of these papers into a PPT format or anything because that will dilute a lot of things that will kind of, um, it's, it's almost like listening to an audio book versus um, sort of the read, reading the book yourself. In my opinion, reading the book is harder than going through an audio book or going through the summary of a book. Summary is easier to understand for sure, but nothing can give you as much satisfaction as reading a book. So in my opinion, if we have to start a habit of um, writing a paper or sorry, reading a paper, it's better just look at the paper itself, directly look at the source instead of looking at a watered down version of that. So for that reason, I will not be making any sort of uh, PowerPoint version of this these papers. So what my plan is, I will pick up pick up some seminal papers that I am reading currently or some papers which I have read in the past. And if the paper has 13 pages or 40 pages or 50 pages, doesn't matter. I'll just paste all this, every single page into a Miro board, like a canvas. And then I will read through it line by line without skipping anything, without skipping a single word. I'll read through it and I will attempt to make the paper clear for all of us. Now, naturally, this structure would mean that the lecture 
will not be like 10 minutes it can be two hours three hours i have no idea depending on the paper length and um i know that this length is not the most ideal sort of structure for most people i'm, I'm well aware of that but i also feel like sometimes we have to do some difficult things in life to get sufficient reward and i have been getting so much happiness from reading these papers end to end and that's the process that i want to follow while making this series now i have several seminal papers in my mind which i want to of course cover as part of this series but i don't have an end in my mind i don't know how many papers i'm going to review maybe i'll just continue this as a habit so it might be a never ending series and i don't necessarily want to pick always the the very latest papers or the the latest trending paper or any, anything like that i will pick up papers that are relevant in the historical context of ai ml or in the historical context of let's say large language models or multimodal llms etc so there are a bunch of papers that i have already read and understand properly thoroughly which i i definitely want to be part of this series and there are a bunch of new papers which i haven't read uh, read yet but i would like to do so as part of the series now if you want to follow this series of course you can skip whichever um lectures you think is not interesting to you if some paper is not what you would like to read you can skip that particular lecture but uh, there won't be too much connection from lecture 1 to lecture 2 for example because there will be two different papers although the papers will be referring to each other i will try to make it as much uh, independent as possible just as if how i'll be reading a paper so that that is what i want to simulate and as i said my singular goal here is to sort of see what kind of community is out there who who really cares about reading and understanding papers i know that the community is small for sure but um it will be great to have some sort of platform where we can discuss papers and truly understand uh the the latest knowledge that humanity has from right at its its source uh many times when i was recently watching youtube videos on various topics like you know um topics about fitness or topics about is there an ai bubble or topics like is is small language model something that is actually a big deal there are many topics and when you watch youtube videos it feels like it's a lot of opinions and i feel like i'm not getting knowledge right from its source of course the number one source of knowledge maybe is you doing the experiment yourself you building it yourself but you can't do that all the time so in my opinion the second best knowledge is look at the papers read the papers which proposed that idea for the first time and see how the papers that followed uh critiqued or built on top of it so if i want to understand let's say the effect of eating uh two or three egg yolks per day i don't want to look at chat gpt or maybe look at youtube videos maybe i can look at a paper i mean i'm not saying that every decision that we make in life has to be like this but i'm just saying if you truly want to know something that is as close as close to truth as possible i feel like reading papers is one of the best ways and in general also as a reading habit sometimes i feel like once i have finished reading a paper so i was recently reading the paper about bird very very nicely written paper and then i was also simultaneously reading a book i felt like it was so much more easier to read the book because now the book is almost spoon feeding me i like it of course i'm not saying it's bad but i i i really felt good about reading the book um right after reading the paper because paper is so much dense it has it has so many ideas and you often have to go back to the references and see what the reference is talking about to fully understand the context of one particular sentence in the paper and of course paper is not meant for general audience uh, books are meant for general audience so in general it made my reading habit much better i now have started enjoying reading books also as a result of reading and understanding these papers so i hope uh, same thing happens to you where you will get the courage to read difficult or long or highly technical papers and understand it yourself and i will try to handhold you as much as possible in this process i will try to um build a community of people who would like to cultivate this habit of reading uh, i'm talking from the context of 
uh, reading papers as well as reading associated books not related to fiction mostly related to ai ml or technical topics and um, hopefully you know uh, revive the lost habit of reading that we these days we don't have that much because of social media so of course finally at the end of the day if you don't read the papers yourself maybe you won't benefit as much but i hope my lectures which are part of this series will take you um as close to that habit as possible and i hope um these lecture series will give you irrespective of whether you are a beginner or whether you are a phd graduate or as someone who is just entering research irrespective of where you are i hope this will give you sufficient courage to become an avid paper reader most of the papers that i pick are already available in an open access basis so you don't you will not need any specific uh, institutional access to particular journals or anything like that so don't worry about that and uh, at times you will feel like some papers are so difficult um, i i do feel that like sometimes when i read papers i can clearly see which paper is very written in a very difficult to understand way although it may be a famous paper the it's not maybe the best paper in terms of writing sometimes when you read some other papers you will feel like oh wow i wish i could write like these authors and it's amazing right it's like a great skill to have and also sometimes when i notice the figures in the paper they are like they this they're so much to the point they really form the backbone of the paper that if you just look at the figures and if you understand all the figures in the paper you may understand 70% of what is going on in the paper right so you truly understand why you have to create some figures why some figures are unnecessary how to communicate to an audience in the form of a scientific writing all these are skills that i hope will translate to many different fields irrespective of whether you are a researcher or not so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to say uh, one more point which i i don't think i touched it upon touched upon it mm, that much it is about the you know history of knowledge building so there are often very famous papers like let's say attention is all you need very famous paper it 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 feels like when you read that paper you you will be almost mind blown to think that the authors have you know thought of so many things in just one paper but then the amazing thing is the more you read more papers you read the papers that came before that you can clearly see how you know most of these papers are standing on top of some other giants so it's not like every everything was proposed in one one paper in one go you can clearly see the progression of humanity's knowledge when you read papers from uh, let's say 2015 2016 2017 and so on so that makes you feel at least it made me feel a bit relieved that okay i now at least i feel like if i had all the knowledge if i had the the history of uh, this particular space let's say natural language processing with me yes i can imagine doing something incremental in that and and maybe that itself is a big deal right so um at least thinking like this is making me feel better that okay you can also come up with new ideas and new proposals or new models if you know what people have already done in the past you can build on top of it you don't have to reinvent the entire wheel so this is also something you will truly understand when you start reading a lot of papers so i hope whether you have read a lot of papers in your life or whether you are reading the paper reading a research paper for the first time this series will be of some help to you and it will be also be of some help to me um, and i hope you enjoy this process as much as i am going to enjoy so thank you so much for listening um in this video i did not want to mention specifically about any paper because that's not my agenda but in the upcoming lectures in each lecture we'll pick up one paper and read it end to end read and understand it end to end so there'll be long lectures i have no idea what the length is going to be but please do expect long lectures and if you really want to get full benefit please be patient i hope this will be a very rewarding experience for you so thank you so much and welcome to the series